Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and in today's video we are going to be talking about a fragrance that was love at first sniff, okay? The fragrance that we're going to be talking about today guys is Maison Francis Kirk de John. MFK, you're just going to call it MFK for the rest of the video. And this one is Gentle Fluidity Gold. <sighs> of course y'all know about the love baccarat same company same maker that makes baccarat i haven't bought y'all already know i have so many dupes of baccarat and i have not bought the real baccarat i am going to actually get the real one soon but i had i have this one and then i have another one from mfk i had to go ahead and get these two first because i was just very very curious okay so when you get the box it looks like this the top is gold up there looks like that so when you open it up there's like a little tab right here you pull the tab and the perfume is in there so the size that i got is the 1.2 fluid ounce and it sits in there like that okay so when i first was seeing these bottles i was absolutely like i was like i am not buying that perfume that little bottle for that price but when i realized it was a 1.2 I would see the bottles just sitting on things when people would have them so it looked smaller than I thought it was but once I saw it in someone's hand like on a picture somewhere when I where I was looking once I saw it on the picture I was like okay that's like a regular size bottle technically it's a 1.2 like I said but the fact that it's tall when most of the one ounces I have are wide so that's why I was thinking that it was in my mind I was thinking it was like a travel size because of how small it always looked when people would have it. Of course, you know, a little bigger than a travel size. But I didn't think it was, I didn't know it was a 1.2. And I finally Googled the size and I was like, oh, I can do a 1.2 in that size. Even though, you know, this one I think was 160 for this. You guys, let me just tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all. Okay, so this is such a last minute video because I just got back from eating dinner for my niece's um, 19th birthday. And I was like, while I have clothes on, let me go ahead and record, uh, shucks, and record this video. I'm trying to make sure I don't got broccoli in my teeth. <laughs> we good. Okay, so <laughs> let's look up the notes on this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the um, main accords and the notes, you guys. So, Gentle Fluidity Gold is for men and women. Yes, this one is unisex. Y'all need it. Okay, so the main accords are vanilla, powdery, amber, woody, fresh, spicy, aromatic, musky, sweet, and soft spicy. The it says MFK is an amber vanilla fragrance for women and men. Gentle Fluidity Gold was launched in 2019. The number and we need. <laughs> So this is what it says, same notes, two identities, working the ingredient to express its full potential and meeting the challenge of composing two different EDPs with the same notes, juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. The gentle fluidity duo was born to the perfumer's imagination. Blah. Okay, some of the pros are beautiful and feminine, well-balanced, sweet scent, perfect for a signature scent, Cons, expensive for what it offers, may turn sour on some skin types. Not impressive compared to po other popular fragrances. So, the beautiful and feminine, definitely. And I know y'all are probably like, well, how is it feminine if it's a unisex scent? Trust me, it is. It literally is a bottle of perfection. <laughs> it For it to be a unisex scent, when I smell this it screams femininity like my niece literally said when I, she smelled it tonight she was like it's giving um can you set the dinner table for me please <laughs> she is not lying that is exactly what it is giving it is so feminine if you wanted to walk around smelling bougie this is it y'all the perfume smells so freaking good like I have a dupe for it from Okja. That's gonna be a later video on the comparison, but I still 
I was just itching. You know, some of the fragrances I have dupes for, and I'm okay with having the dupes. Well, I say that, but at the same time, some of the ones that, like the big houses, like the Bonds and the MFKs, I've noticed that even when I find dupes for these, I still want the real thing. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, that Okja dupe, that's in a later video. But anyways, this, like I said, even though it's unisex, it's very much given femininity. It's very much given I'm rich. I look. I wore this with what I have on right now because I felt so girly, so feminine, and pr very pretty in the outfit that I have on tonight. I'll insert a picture. I didn't really get any good pictures on what I had on tonight, but I'm going to insert a picture so that you guys can kind of see like the idea that I'm talking about very dressy anything that you would have on heels a dress right now i have on like this little two-piece outfit but it's the color i love anything that's beige anything that's beige or white gives me super feminine so that's why i chose this fragrance to go with it um they said well balanced sweet scent definitely is perfect for a signature scent yes this is perfect for a signature scent but i'm not gonna lie to you this is a strong uh, fragrance for a signature scent but this is something if somebody smells this they can always say man that's what Nadia smells like that smells so good like this is something I can see myself smelling like every single day and I would not get tired of this but the thing is I wouldn't want to waste this as being a signature scent because I feel like it's too good to just be worn every single day just for no reason I I would love to smell like this every day, but I'm not going to waste my money or my fragrance just to walk around smelling like this for no reason. It costs too much. This little bottle was $160 and it's a 1.2. <laughs> so, like they say, expensive for what it offers. That's one of the cons. It is. It's a 1.2. It's $160. I mean, the bottle is super cute. The top has that on the top of it like that. Super cute bottle. This is my second mfk fragrance um at this point you guys haven't even seen the video on the first one <laughs> but this is the second one that i got um i'm not gonna lie i really really love it guys it is a beautiful fragrance the juniper berries i guess that i've noticed that i enjoy a lot of amber fragrances um and everything seems to have vanilla in it like i say it's always like a fancy vanilla um the amber and the juniper berries, perfect combination. This is a very sweet smelling fragrance. <laughs> do I think that this is blind by, first of all, do I think that this was worth it for me to spend $160 on this fragrance at this size of bottle? I honestly do, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I do have the dupe for it, but it's just, some of them, it's just nothing like the actual fragrance. Do I think this is blind by safe? Um, if you like very fancy smelling fragrances, yes. If you don't mind having a strong fragrance in your collection that you can wear on special occasions, whether it's date night, dinner with your girls, this is definitely this definitely gives me date night vibes, dinner with my girls vibes. Even though I said that I would love this to be a signature scent, but that's like if I didn't mind just wasting it just because I'm wearing it today on a Saturday and I feel cute you know even though I went to dinner so that's why I wore it but I'm just like if I was like on a regular Saturday and I just feel cute oh I want to put this on I don't see myself doing that but date night yes dinner with my girls yes anytime I have this on I'm gonna be extra cute let's just say that because I wouldn't want to waste it any other way like wearing it anywhere else just for for no reason I just can't see myself doing that I love this perfume, you guys. I'm so glad I finally bit the bullet and got it and got over the price for it. Um, I would only say that this was blind by safe if, like I said, you don't mind kind of strong fragrances. If you, or like I said, if you want to have a few fragrances in your collection that you felt like, okay, this is what I'm wearing on special occasions. I don't spray this a lot, but when I, I, I need it, it's gonna be there. And on sometimes when I wanna be extra fancy, it'll be there. Like that's what this is. It's definitely not something you just gonna 
well not you me that i'm just gonna grab any old time and just be like oh let me just wear this wear this especially since i have the dupe for it i would grab if i wanted to smell like this i'm gonna grab the dupe and wear that on a regular old day that i'm just like out and about doing whatever but when it's time for me to put on heels and look cute this is the one that i will grab okay so i paired this tonight with um Le Labo another 13 body lotion y'all y'all i smelled so good oh my god and if y'all can smell Le Labo another 13 y'all are probably like but they don't really smell that you know a light so why would you y'all know how i do i'm gonna create my own scent whatever i put together you better believe it's gonna smell good if i have worn it out in public if i'm wearing it out in public now if i i haven't had a fail yet <laughs> So I'm safe on those. If you guys have not checked out my layering videos, make sure you do that. I have a whole, like an entire playlist of um, layering combinations because I post the videos every Saturday. But me pairing this with um, another 13 from Le Labo, y'all, I, I knew I smelled good. I smelled so good. Yes, I did. <laughs> but yeah. So that is what the bottle looks like up close, you guys. Like I said, this is a 1.2. Oh my God, it smells so good. So yeah, that's it, you guys, for this video. I just wanted to come on here and kind of chat with you guys about this one because I finally got it, even though I said I was not going to get this, that I was close, uh, that I was happy with the dupe, but I really didn't know how the real one smelled because I couldn't compare it to anything. Now I can. <laughs> Because I had a sample of Gentle Fluidity Silver, but I ha did not have one of gold. I love gold. I like gold more than silver now that I have smelled both of them. Silver, I don't have to have. I've never really itched to have silver, but I was itching to get gold or whatever. So here we are. Looking out cute. I can't wait to put her up there because she's going to end up up there somewhere, I think. I'm going to have to do some rearranging eventually okay you guys that is the end of this video before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys oh yeah and turn that notification bell on <laughs>